um, in this example, what we have is obviously a triangle. What I'm asking you guys to do is find the area. Now, so far, you guys have learned how to, you have learned how to find the area of two different triangles. But when you determine to find the area of a triangle, you are at least given what we call the height and the base. And even if it didn't have a right triangle, but what we were able to do is draw in that height and the base. Right? And that's how we found the area of a triangle. Because remember, the area of the triangle, 1 half based on type. Right? And that's what you guys learned you know, in geometry, algebra, you know, pre-algebra, and so forth. But now, you guys can see we don't have a height. All right? So what we have is a very, very special formula, which is provided to you. But we just need to be able to apply it correctly to do that. So the formula, which is called Heron's formula, goes like this. h equals s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. Okay, So this is when you're given all of the side lengths. So then your question might say, well, I know a, b, and c, but what the heck is s? s equals a plus b plus c divided by 2. Okay, So we're really just going to do this in two steps. First thing is always figure out what s is. And I know a lot of you want to be very, very lazy, because when doing math, you want to be lazy, do the least amount of work as possible. And you guys just want to you know, calculate that in your head, and then, and then plug that in your calculator. Um, but there comes a problem, because if you get the problem wrong, and you don't have any work, I don't know where you made the mistake or what you're doing wrong correctly. So it's really helpful, guys. And it's not that much work if you guys just show where you're getting all your work. Okay. So therefore, that's going to be 28. So that'd be 43. And then divide by 2, uh, which is going to be 20, 43 divided by 2, which would be 43, 41.5. 41. 21. 43, so it's 21.5. Okay. Now, we just plug that into our formula. I don't know why I said that was h. Maybe because of heron, but that's the area. So the area <laughs> equals the square root of 21.5 times 21.5 minus 10, 21.5 minus 15, and 21.5 minus 18. Okay. So 21.5 times. And then all you just got to do from there is just subtract. So this is 11.5. This is going to be uh, 6.5. And this one is going to be 3.5. Now, I'd probably say go ahead and take your calculator and multiply all those together. So therefore, you'd have 21.5 times 11.5 times 6.5 times 3.5. Take the square root of that answer, and you get 74.999, which you can round to 75. And then obviously, if there is units or something on there, that would be units squared. Huh? And then I already did the square root of it, yeah. It's like the square root of 56. Or 5,624.9375, square root of that is 75. Okay? Any questions on that? Pretty simple. So, again, um, ladies and gentlemen, in basic terms,